End game is very important in uh, in Go. Even if we play very well, uh, opening a middle, if we are weak in end game, we can lose still a lot of games. Uh, the, the point is, by attacking very hard, we can probably win against weaker opponents. But if we meet uh, the same strength opponents or uh, even stronger than us, then it's uh, very likely the game can uh, arrive to the stage of USA to the end game and. In, when we arrive at this stage, we really have to know a few things about the value of moves uh, in order to play well. Uh, I confess I'm quite weak in endgame, but I still know uh, quite a, a lot of basic things. I lose most of my games in endgame because I'm, um, I'm basically a middle game fighter. I, I like very much uh, attacking. I like. Uh, my teacher told me when I went to Japan that my go style is like a bicycle style. Um, I attack, I attack, but when I lose my energy, it's suddenly like, you know, when you're on the bicycle and you don't move, you just fall. So my goal was, my, my goal was the same. I attack, but uh, when I have no stones to attack, I just want to resign because it's a game over. But uh, in the end, um, when we meet some calm opponents, we realize that we have to cross this stage. At some point, all the stones on the board will be safe, and then we have to enter end game. Uh, what is really important in game and in end game, first of all, <coughs> is to know the value of moves. For example, in this kind of situation, uh, probably <coughs> most most people maybe let's say average from 10Q down, maybe most people know that this kind of move here is worth 2 points. Let's analyze exactly why this is 2 points. If black play here, white answer, and black connect. So this is one uh, variation we have to keep in mind. The other variation is when white play, white play, black answer, white connect. Okay? So now we have to remember the variation we put before. This is one point difference in the white territory. At the same time, this is one point difference in the black territory. So we just sum up the total, it's a two point difference. This is an easy way to, I mean, uh, quite an easy user problem. But uh, what about this? What about if we meet this kind of shape on the second line? Um, well, this is white territory, this is black territory, this area. So now the problem is how to play Jose here. Let's start with uh, this kind of uh, shape when uh, both, let's see, if black play here, white connect, white uh, answer, black connect, and uh, if white play, white play here, black answer, white connect. And let's analyze a little bit the difference in territory here. One uh, quite important thing uh, when we analyze this kind of situation is to finish the shape until the first line, I mean to finish everything here. And how can we finish this? Uh, we can assume if from black this move is gote, from white this move is also gote. So we assume that uh, there is a 50-50 chance uh, to play in this area, so like this we just make it 50-50. Okay, we give one point to white, one point to black, we make it uh, peaceful. So this will be the end result, it's how we calculate, how we estimate. One thing you have to know about um, this estimation of uh, like value of moves in Yose, it's uh, it's not exactly accurate because okay, if white play here, black play here, white play here, then uh, the value of the move will be a little bit different. But then um, black also will get another move in another part of the the board. The problem is when we want to correctly evaluate the value of a move in this area, we have to we have to finish. <coughs> we have to finish the sequence uh, until uh, until the end. So if it's gote for both, we just assume gote gote. We play like this, and uh, this is one final vari variation. And in the other, uh, if white play, on the other hand, uh, again we assume a 50/50 chance to play in this area. So this is the final shape. And now we can uh, compare the, the two variations we had. Here, if we remember, we have to keep in mind the other. Uh, so basically, when we are playing a real game, we don't see neither of these variations. 
Just we have to put them in mind. So black play here, white play here, black play here, white here, and black here. So the um, white territory decreased by three points. If white play, uh, white territory increased by three points, black decreased by three points. So uh, three points here, three, point, three points here, a total of six points. Uh, I will just change a little bit. For example, if we just change one uh, one stone uh, here, already the value of the move here is different. Let's see why. If white play, we get the same. Yeah, this is the final uh, variation when white play. But let's see what happens when black play. Now, uh, what happens next on the first line? If white play, white is got there. Black will Atari, white has to connect. But if black play, black is center. If not, uh, black will Atari and en enter white territory, which means white has to play here. And uh, in this kind of situation, if one player play sente but another player play gote, we have to assume that uh, the player who have the sente, it's uh, actually his right to play in this area. He will uh, he will get for sure this move before white, because um, the value for white is relatively small. Uh, he take gote to make this, but uh, when black play and white doesn't answer, black can do quite a huge damage to the white territory. So even if in actual games, sometimes it happens that white play this move. We call it reverse sente. Uh, in Yose, there are three, three important uh, concepts. Gote, sente, and reverse sente. Reverse sente is something that uh, many people ask me, what is reverse sente? Reverse sente is basically a place where you your opponent can play in sente, but you manage to play uh, uh, before him. For example, if now it's white turn and white plays something here or here, this is a quite big reverse center move. Why is reverse center? Because black could have played this move in center. Uh, but anyway, when we finish this uh, variation here in our mind, uh, we have to assume that this is black's right to play here. Because black is center. Black play here. And now again, let's see what happened finally on the first line. If black play, white will answer black is gote. But if white play, then capturing here in Sente it's a little bit big, let's say at the very end of the game. Uh, this is quite a big profit for white, so normally black connect. So it's pretty accurate to assume that uh, this white is also Sente. Will be played, uh, this, this move will be played uh, Sente from white. So finally we get the, fin the result when black played here. We notice it's a little bit different. If you remember the variation before, there are three points here different, one, two, three, and uh, please try to remember this shape, and now let's put when white played. Let's try to remember how many points were there here different, what they think. Let's see, black played, honey, white was here, and then white Atari and black connect, so one, two, three, four, five points different in white territory. Three points was difference in black territory, so now the value of the move, so the value to, to play a move uh, in this area is eight points suddenly. You notice? Like this is six points, like this is eight, eight points. Let's see what happens when uh, black is here. I ask the public, how many points do you think is now worth the move here? Hmm, quite a logical increase, huh? Yes, very good. Uh, if black play and connect, then uh, we have the same variation like before. It will be five point difference in um, in white area. If white play, this time because the stone is here, it's the same, five point difference. We make the sum and it's total of ten.